brutal killing of police inspector and the burning of divisional police headquarters in Benue, Umayi voiced out. <laughs> Benue, 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 Benue. Well, uh, my dear viewers, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day on this very special day. You're welcome to today's broadcast. Um, in fact, it's so quite unfortunate that we begin today's broadcast with a tragedy. A tragedy. This is what Umayi actually wants. This is what Umayi actually asked for. Because Umayi has been one of the governors that has been, you know, uh, making tough decisions tough decisions decisions that have not been helpful i'm telling you that has not been helpful in the whole of southeast and despite being the chairman of southeast governors forum many of his opinions i tell you has not been going smoothly Look at the moves Otto is uh, and Samuel Otto is making. The moves Samuel Otto makes cannot be compared to the ones that he has been making. Even as the chairman of the Southeast Governors, is quite disappointing. He's so lucky to have escaped many of the attacks that has been befalling him. Now look at what has just happened to his state. This is not the first time. Um, a divisional headquarter of the police force is being attacked in a point. Yet, Umayi hasn't learned his lesson. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when he's going to learn. I don't know. Maybe after um, his uh, immediate family are attacked. That is when he's going to learn. Okay. Um, as the divisional police headquarter has been attacked, where are the Ebibiago that has just been set up? Because he bragged so much about them that um, they have been, you know, distributed, sent to their various area of uh, assignments to work. That they will be delivering and they will be discharging their duties as uh, expected. It's not so. So what's happening? Why was the divisional police headquarters still attacked? despite the presence of Ebibiago. See, let me tell you, my viewers. See, it takes two to tango. What Southeast need is general cooperation. If Umayi and his co-governors doesn't cooperate with other security outfits like the Eastern Security Network, I'm telling you, Southeast will continue to experience the attack that they don't even expect. I'm telling you the truth. Let's bounce into the the, 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 the content itself. Unknown gunmen launched a fresh attack on a police formation in a point on Thursday, leaving an operative dead. The attacks comes as the unidentified attackers continue to wreak havoc across states like Kogi, Anambra and Abia. The police spokesperson, DSP Lovett Oda, confirmed the attack to reporters in Abakiliki saying the attack happened at Obiozara police station in Ohau Zara, local government area. Mrs. Oda said the gunmen invaded the station in their numbers in the early hours of the day and started shooting sporadically. A witness, Emmanuel Ono, said the attackers invaded the station around 3 o'clock a.m. and began to set some parts of the building on fire. 3 o'clock p.m. The, the, uh, the police officers 
are still very much on duty. Is it not so? So what's happened? Hmm? What's happened? You see, I used to say that we don't have police officers. We don't have police officers. Believe you me. Because how can we have officers on duty and there will still be an attack? Even if there is an attack, there should be officers on duty to repel the attack. There should be officers on duty to challenge and prevent any attack that may befall the station. I'm telling you, we don't. Because if we have this unnecessary attack won't even be coming up. Because to me, it's an excuse. It's a crazy excuse. I, I don't take it. And I can't, I, I'm, and I'm not convinced. In any way, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. That is why I used to say it that any attack that before the police the police station is an attack that is designed by the police itself. It's an attack that is designed by them themselves. Because they alone know how come the gunmen invaded the station. As far as I am concerned, in fact, we don't have we don't have any government anywhere. Any government you see attacking a police station is the one arranged by, the, by an insider in the police station. An insider has arranged it. It's an, it is an arranged attack. That is how the police work. The police, the work in a very deceitful way deceitful deceitful way they arrange with uh, with with criminals out there to invade into the station and um, and make away with uh, uh, with armories how do you think that this would not get the armories that they make use of you think they buy them it's true the ones in the police station that that they make use of. So everything is being planned by with 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 the insider, with the policemen inside. It's a planned job. They know themselves. They know what they do. That's why I don't sympathize with them whenever I I, I get information of this kind because that is what they do. That is what they do. They are very strange kind of human beings. Look at. I don't know when this uh, issue of um, of a, a police headquarters attack we 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 uh, we come to an end. I don't know. Because the 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 the, the, the attack on police headquarters is becoming too unbearable. On head of, in fact, is too much. It's too much. It's too much. So I am of the opinion that the state government needs to wake up. Needs to wake up. Let me hear from you and know what you have to say about this. If you are new, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.